Hi, friends. Um, I'm reading a book at the moment called Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Actually, I'm, I'm listening to the audiobook, which is awesome because uh, Simon reads it himself. And if you've seen his TED Talk, he's an amazing speaker. So um, it's really cool to listen to him read that book. And uh, I just wanted to talk today about, he talks about kind of the, the four happy chemicals, which are, uh, which is really interesting. And I, th I think um, it's the, the four kind of chemicals in our bodies that, that make us feel happy. And they are uh, endorphins, dopamine, uh, serotonin, and oxytocin. And they all have a slightly different function. And it's kind of really interesting to, to know what they are and uh, to understand why and when a body produces them. Um, so that we can be be aware of of their influence and and make sure that it helps us um, do what we want um, and and make sure that we're getting enough of it because for our well being and happiness we we need a release of all four of those of those chemicals. So dopamine is um or let's start with endorphins. Endorphins are the um is is a chemical that reduces the feeling of pain. It's sort of like a, a an analgesic, a sedative. And um, your body releases it when you when you're going through some sort of painful experience. Um, that uh, yeah, when it's no longer dangerous, then your body releases endorphins. So um, it's also known as the kind of the runner's high when you do a lot of endurance sport. At the end of it, you're so tired and in pain, and then you f have this like high, like it's like being on drugs. That's that's endorphins rushing through your body um, when you experience kind of pain through through some sort of challenge. Um, then your body releases endorphins. And the second one is dopamine. Dopamine is the reward chemical. When we do something, when we achieve goals, when we um, cross tasks off our to-do list, then um, our brain is filled with dopamine. Um, also, yeah, when we, when we, you know, for example, when, when you, when your when your phone buzzes or rings, that's usually a dopamine release because your body somehow thinks like it's a reward that that your phone rings. Um, so that kind of thing can be can can be dangerous because you you don't want um, this this kind of feeling. You you don't want to get hooked. You get kind of, you can get dopamine makes you addicted to stuff. Um, so you can get addicted to your to your self smartphone because of that dopamine hit. Um, and, and Simon Zanek calls these two the selfish chemicals and the next two, serotonin and oxytocin, the selfless uh, chemicals. And the reason is, is that um, do dopamine and, and endorphins, they make you feel good for doing stuff for yourself. And serotonin and oxytocin make you feel good for doing stuff for other people. So serotonin is sort of like the the, the pride chemical and the... It makes you, and, and the, it's kind of your measure of being liked. When other people like you, you you get serotonin. So it's like, yeah, it's a feeling of pride or of accomplishment or of uh, being part of a group, being part of something larger than yourself, you know, having a tribe. Um, that's serotonin. So, um, yeah, if you get an award or... Um, just if you're around friends, you, you, that's your body's releasing serotonin, and that makes you feel good. Um, and you also, when other people do something good, we release serotonin. So, um, if you, if someone, you know, if your parents are watching you receive an award, they will also f have serotonin uh, released in their brain, or your friends, and so on. So, when people, we you know, or even strangers, if you see a stranger doing something nice, something really kind then your brain will release serotonin. Um, so it's kind of the kindness. Um, it, when it sees kindness, it releases, uh, our bodies release serotonin. And the final one, oxytocin, is known as the love uh, chemical or the, or the cuddle chemical. Um, when, you, when you cuddle, when you hug, um, oxytocin is released. Uh, it's also released um, yeah, during intimacy, romance. Um, and a close intimate friendship. So, um, yeah, oxytocin is the, is the love chemical, um, and we need to we need to feel deeply connected to other human beings, um, and and that's what oxytocin helps us to do. So, oxytocin works with a much smaller um, kind of group of people than serotonin, which works, you know, on everyone that we see. 
um, when when people do good things or when, when when we see that anybody likes us we feel serotonin being released and uh, but but um, oxytocin is sort of more of closer relationships closer friendships and romantic relationships so yeah those are the the four the four happy chemicals um uh, lots of other interesting stuff in this book but i'll leave that for another time um, this is from, from Leaders Eat Last by Simon Sinek. Although those, I mean, you can find other stuff on the internet about, about this, this, the four happy chemicals. Just um, have a search around if you're interested. That's it for today. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. Ciao.